Hey guys, how are you doing? Very soon we will be able to transfer WhatsApp chats, messages and all of its attachments from Android to iPhone without any paid application or a third party application and even without a cable. After almost a year since the launch of iPhone to Android WhatsApp transfer feature by WhatsApp, we all know that they are working on a version that is going to let us transfer all the Android WhatsApp chats from Android device to iPhone. Currently, WhatsApp have rolled out this feature for beta testers and I tried to install WhatsApp beta from apk mirror and it is not actually working but i'm going to explain you the step-by-step -step process that involves on how to do the whatsapp chat transfer once the feature is launched we have already done a video about how to transfer from android to iphone or iphone to android with a third-party application called dr phone wonder share i'll leave a link to that in the description i'll also pin that in the first comment if you need it by any chance you know if you want to do it immediately you may check that out as well so unlike iphone whatsapp is not going to integrate this feature to its WhatsApp application. For Android, they are going to integrate it with the Move to iOS application, it seems. You have to install Move to iOS and you need to make sure that the WhatsApp is updated to latest version after this feature is officially rolled out. I will bring a separate video about once this feature is officially rolled out. Another simple requirements are that you need to make sure that your iPhone is running iOS 15.5 or above version. You need to do the factory reset, take a backup in your iPhone tunes you know with the help of computer or through iCloud and you need to format your iPhone if you already set up if it is a new iPhone make sure it is running iOS 15.5 and above version and in the setup process in the first initial setup process of your iPhone you need to select transfer apps from Android when you are in the apps and data screen so there you can see it generates an OTP and it also creates a hotspot connection in the background from your Android device you have to launch the move to iOS application and start with the process of giving permission to the location services and you know it is going to prepare the phone to connect with the hotspot feature that is created by the iPhone. So once you completed this step then you will be prompted with a single use code and OTP type of thing so you have to enter the code that is available in the iPhone. Then the device automatically checks for nearby iPhone that is ready to accept the connection and initiate the move to iOS process. So there you can see it says connected and in the iPhone the process you know uh, starts and it will prompt you to select which type of data has to be transferred from your Android. So here as you can see from the screenshot WhatsApp is going to be in the list once this update comes out probably you know from the date of this video probably in uh, two or three months we will be able to see that feature. Right now the WhatsApp is not in the list even though I tried the beta looks like I have to participate in the beta program and very limited number of features are only selected by WhatsApp to test this feature. Even some beta users in Twitter are saying that their device is not still eligible for that. So you have to select messages, contacts, Google accounts and any other data along with WhatsApp in order to successfully transfer them to your iPhone. The next important step is you need to install WhatsApp after the data transfer is completed to your iPhone. Then you will be able to see all your WhatsApp text contents and everything that you were using in the Android device on your iPhone. So what do you think about this latest news update? Is it too late or you're kind of okay with WhatsApp at least rolling out this feature right now? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.